Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How's everyone doing today? What is happening? It's Saturday morning. <laughs> yes, it's Saturday morning. And I wanted to show you what I've listed in my shop this week. So, uh, yeah, I can tell some people have been keeping an eye on my shop because I listed these, some of these things and uh, they already sold before I could, and I had to mail them. <laughs> like to this Friday morning, they went out in the mail, so... It's like I had to mail them before I got a chance to do a video. So that's why I say keep an eye on my shop. I'm listing things throughout the week. I come to you when I can and do a little shop update. But, you know, sometimes the things sell before I even get to do the video. So, and then, of course, that's great for me, right? That's what they're there for, for me to sell them, right? So, yeah, all of this I had to stop because uh, uh, I didn't know. I didn't want to, you know, the video to be too long. So and I only have 30 minutes of my videos, but I think I can get this done way faster than 30 minutes. We shall see. But let me show you what's in the middle here first. Um, I listed these together as a little set of uh, Bear Cub Scout books. This one's very vintage. I love, love, love this one. Uh, I like. I mean, I've had it. I had it in my Etsy shop, you know, and I'm transferring everything over to my new shop, my eBay shop. And every time I open it, I was like, even this, I listed it this on Friday morning. And every time I open it, I'm like, I should, I'm going to keep this because <laughs> I love it so much. But then I thought, no, I'm not going to keep it. So it's uh, 19, uh, right here, it says copyright 1951. So just really cool. And I love the, just the overall look of the pages. Uh, if you have a cub scout boy scout person in your life that collects maybe some of things like this this would be a great gift for them both of these and especially this one and if you wanted to take this apart and use it for making ephemera it would be great for that too it just has all kinds of little activities you know cub scout you know crafts and <laughs> i call them crafts i don't know if the cub, cub scout they probably call them activities for the boys <laughs> but you know, all kinds of things. And I love this page right here with this little chart. My home helps. Oh, this one's had, yeah, it does have a little writing in here. This one looks like, is that, I think this is pen. Uh, it looks like pen. Yeah, there, but most of it is pencil, like right here. It's a little name. Mother and dad sign here, and there they signed January 19, is it January 30, maybe? Doesn't have a year. But anyway, there's a few little things like that in here. And there's this is a little a little worn. It's a little bit of a tear right here. There's a name written here, which I think is in pen. But everything else seems to be, except for what I just showed you, uh, in pen was uh, in pencil. Uh, let's see, like here's some writing right here. Let's see if this is in pen. It's like I didn't look at every, go through here and look at every page. Yeah, that's in pencil right there. So if you wanted to, mom and dad had to sign there. So, December 5th, yeah. Okay, so anyway, that's that one. Very cool. And then this one says, uh, the copyright says 2012 printing, 2003 Boy Scouts of America. So I guess this version came out in 2003, but this particular copy was printed in 2012. And again, this newer version has a little bit more color to it. All the activities... So I think uh, this would be really fun for the collector or the uh, or a junk journal. There's a little bit of writing here. Let's see. Was that mom and dad signing again? It looks like mom signed Alicia or no, uh, Marsha White. So uh, yeah, my husband was a Cub Scout leader. He was the the Cub Master. Yes, that's the big honcho in the Cub Scouts. So and both my boys were in. They weren't, uh, my older son wasn't into sports, but we got him at least to be, he didn't like any sports. We got, made him try them all. He didn't like any of the sports, but he liked Cub Scouts. And then my younger son played sports and was in the Cub Scouts. So everybody has their own thing that they like, right? So anyway, the next bunch of goodies here is a Reader's Digest. These are all listed in one listing, but you has a drop down menu where you choose which one you want. So these are really nice. These are all from the 70s. So uh, like I see newer ones, I don't get them. I just get the older ones. If I ever buy these, I get the older, I mean, yeah, the older ones. So yeah, 1971 here. And um, like these, uh, let's see, I think I have some with pictures on the front. 
these all the, for this particular like the 70s they put the picture a pretty picture on the back like a really cool like this one's really beautiful um, it has the uh, fold out little advertisement there so if you wanted it for ephemera what I have used these for is ephemera I've used the pages you know as additional pages in a journal and then I look for the advertisements here's a slender um, advertisement here's some other little coupons and things you know that you can cut out and make ephemera out of so more ever well interesting pages but uh, usually in the beginning some some are throughout but mostly uh, I find them there's a little cartoon story there's stories you know that's that's the pages I would use for pages if you think they're strong enough you have to test them and make sure they're strong enough See, here's a little something you could use for ephemera. There's a little map there, a little uh, something here that you, an order form or something there. And then uh, let me get to several pictures. Uh, here's advertisement. Here's one for total cereal right here. And then there's a lot, sometimes a lot of cars. So it is cool to see the old cars. And then there's some other, you know, just random. Here's a car, what is this? Sheets. The room changer sheets sheets come uh, advertisement oil here's a little coupon or a little recipe right here for French dressing Coca Cola ad and you get the picture of Kellogg's right here Special K and a seventies truck don't you love that look at the orange <laughs> cool right here's a couple of um, well this is so this is uh, Betty Grable. Uh, she's an old actress. Not, I mean, she she looks kind of young here, though. Maybe in the seventies. I don't know. I'd have to read that to see what it's about. But it, it says Betty Grable there, nice and easy. So you get the picture. So I'm not going to go through like every one like that. I'm just going to show you overall. They're in overall, I would say, good condition. Condition. They're not perfect. I mean, they've been around. But as you can see, they're all together, not falling apart. They're not all written in or or tearing or anything. Here's another. Uh, like advertisement order form type of thing but I'll just flip through like this you can see there's another one I like to find these because I just can use them for ephemera you know you can use them as they are you don't even have to do anything to them if you don't want or you could put a little sticker or a little decoration on there of some type you know and then use it for a journaling card so find the fun stuff anyway and like I said, in the front, there's uh, usually some coupons and sometimes in the back too. But here's one for dog chow. Oh, it's a whole piece of ephemera there. <laughs> here's another one. Wow. Anyway, and there's another one. Okay. So the first one I showed you was August 1971. This is March 1976. It has a snowy picture of uh, on the back. It has some, it looks like soldiers. So, 1976, October 1976, here's the back, looks like an ocean near some mountains, there's a ship right here. So, October 1976, cars, uh, brim, uh, brim coffee, let's see if I can find some more real quick. Dull uh, banana, <laughs> love the sun picture there. So there, there are some in the back too. See so right here, cars and things. Here's a piece of, uh, what is this? These look like some type of, oh yeah, they're advertisements. Christmas order, Christmas order card for uh, these things here. Oh, different books, Reader's Digest books. Okay, that makes sense. Here's a uh, dog, um, dog Purina. I was trying to see what kind of dog food it was. Purina coupon there, so that would be fun to cut out. Here's a bunch of, you know, little order forms and things in here. Let's see, here's another one. Oh, there's a bunch of coupons there. Oh, look at this. We have jackpot. <laughs> jackpot of Carolyn Davis coupons. <laughs> and then there's more of these throughout. So, yeah, I think these are a lot of fun. These particular ones I found at an estate sale. And I remember this one. This lady, I believe, here's another one, was a teacher. And uh, 
I found a lot of stuff at this yard at this uh, estate sale. There's a bunch of these little things in here too. Okay, so that's the next one. May 1976, and yeah, so I bought flashcards at this one. I remember, I think, uh, a game that had to do with uh, telling, learning how to tell time. There's a fold out there. Another advertisement, like a, you know, these are card, kind of, are they card? They, they're kind of card stocky. I guess I'll just start, describe them like that. A tank full of gas, maybe that's a story. See more of these little advertisements. And order forms, coupon, that one folds out, Betty Crocker coupons, butterfly picture there, did you see that? <laughs> Scope, uh, Paula Dent coupon, they're fun, right? Don't you think so? Look at that. Ball jars, uh, what is that? Choice of chicken or beef flavor, some kind of dog food. <laughs> there you go. And that was uh, May 1976. And the last one, these are all I all the ones from the estate sale that I have left. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have these listed. I wanted to finish uh, this pile. So did I show you the picture on the back of that one? It's a, a lake scene on um, like a, what well, there's a mountain, a white, like, I guess snowy mountain with a, another mountain here and trees and a lake with uh, some, it looks like a, you know, winter scene, and there's some snow on the lake, and there's two boys standing right there, I guess, on an icy, um, icy island in the, in the lake, and then the last one, uh, December, oh wow, Christmas, okay, so here's a pretty back cover, there's snow here, people walking through a path, this looks like a Christmas tree outside, and there's something in the sky here. It doesn't look like, I don't know what it is. Is it, it like it's right in the middle of the sky, like it's not hanging on a branch? So I don't know what it is, but some kind of little white something. So whatever they're doing at this, uh, maybe some type of festival where something's floating in the sky. Some kind of lighted things or snowy things. I don't know. Anyway, interesting, right? December 1976. Oh, there was a camera there. What was that? Let us check it out. Let us check it out. Second, there it is. A Polaroid camera from the 70s. Yep. That is what they looked like. Land camera. <laughs> ah, those are fun. Okay. Anyway. Let's see how it looks. A lot of the pages are browning, as you can see. You know, it's that paper. There's a nice chart. That would make some great... Uh, ephemera there, a nice tag. And then a lot of pages. That looks like the Washington Monument. A truck and a train is involved in that story. Oh, here's another camera. Kodak Tele Instamatic. I like looking at the old like typewriters and, and cameras and things. Give the gift that doubles the fun. Kodak Tele Instamatic 600 608 camera. There it is. Does it have a flash? I think it has a. Is that the flash? Oh yeah, the lens is here and the flash is there. So it's a compact little tiny camera with a flash built in. Aim toothpaste. Some Lennox China. Maxwell House coffee. That's a nice colorful page there. And there is a coupon. Santa with the shower massager. <laughs> oh, look at these cars. Oh, hold on. We have to look at these cars for a second. I'm trying to see. They're Volkswagens. I'm just trying to see. Is it? There's a bug up here, and I guess maybe these might be a uh, Dasher. A Dasher. A Sirocco. I don't. And a rabbit. I was trying to say, I remember the rabbit. I don't remember the Dasher or the Sirocco. They must not have been, been as popular, but the rabbit, I remember the Volkswagen rabbit. Kind of, barely, but yeah. It's, it's cute. <laughs> it's a cute little car. Okay, those are the Boy Scout books, or Cub Scout books, and the Reader's Digest. And then three of these already sold. I think it was three of my National Geographics. This is all I have left. I had so many National Ge Geographics 
and I sold them all except for these right here. So this is the rest of them. Um, they're nice also for the same reason as the Reader's Digest. They have ads. They have a cool, a lot of, all of them, I think a lot, some of them are collector's items. People like to buy these during, for, you mean the month of, for the month that somebody was born and maybe give them to them as a gift so they can see what was going on during the month they were born. So like this one's February 1964. I showed you the cool, I love the Coke ads. That's my favorite. If there's a Coke ad on the back and this is a Coke, a Coca-Cola of the skaters, they're roller skating. I love her red shirt and her little red hat, and she's got ponytails. Very cute. Anyway, I could just look at these all day, right? Okay, and then the ads. Again, see, here's little ads here. Little pictures. Oh, there are some birds. What are those? They look like storks, but I'm not sure. I don't want to take too much time because we've got few more things to get through here but a lot of you know of course stories and things you know you know what National Geographic's about so a lot of those types of things and then as you get toward the front there are of course you can use some of these in your S pages or whatever there's a coupon here and pictures and advertisements so there's a lot of some coupons over here, right there, cars. So that's the uh, February 1964. So these I'm going to go through quicker because I've got four more. They're all in good condition. Uh, this one has a little on the bottom here, a little rip. Right, it's not really a rip. It's just a layer of papers coming loose right there. You know, it's just wear. It's just you know, it's all together. It's not falling apart or anything. Here's the back of this one. A cruise line. I love this. New York. That's neat. See that wear there? That's just wear. It's not uh, worn through or anything. But like again, I haven't looked at every page of these, but I haven't seen any writing or rip, you know, like actual tears except for what I've shown you. Oh cool. This one's about space. These are cool because well this is 1965 so that was before uh, we put a man on the moon, isn't that right? I believe so. So it's interesting to see the space things. Here's the um, Galveston Bay, Texas. I'm trying to see if it tells Gemini rubber life raft, Gemini and Apollo space teams coming back from lunar flights. Isn't that cool? There's some astronauts here, probably in training or getting back or going into space. So I, yeah, those are very interesting. Here's a nice page, some handsome people on it. So yeah, lots of interesting stuff in these types of things. As you can see, history, this one looks like it has a lot of history in it. And different countries, all different sorts of things. I think there was one with some space things on the top. I mean, on that front cover, and that one already sold. That one looked very interesting. There's a cool map. Here's a map and a ship, or like a diagram of a ship. That's cool. Uh, there's all kinds of ads here. Konica uh, Auto S camera. What else? I can't turn the page. Oh, look at this. Bell and Hell um, film. What is it? Camera. No, it's a projector. <laughs> I know what it is. I gotta get the words out. I haven't seen one in so long. I forgot what the name of it was. Uh, butter. <laughs> I mean, it's a cool butter with a uh, measuring cup there, and some advertisements and coupons here. The little thing, little things you can make into ephemera there. So fun. This one has a little. Oh, this is the one that has the most wear on it on the spine. Here and down here. See, it's got a little rip there, but it's not coming apart. So this one's June 1964. Here's the back, another Coca-Cola one. It's got ice there on the branches. So we'll do a quick flip of this one because my time is, is running out. But you can see here all the pretty pages. 
drinking water advertisement. There's in a uh, membership application. Oh, another movie camera there. Kodak Electric 8 Zoom camera. Loads in seconds. Here's some more cameras. Is that the same one? Different views of it. So here's another. Here's a, another projector and a. T you watch the projector on that little monitor there. <laughs> that is funny. That doesn't look like it's from the 70s. It looks like it's from like the 50s or something. Private eye projector. Ooh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm getting silly. It's just funny, right? Oh my goodness. So that one. Uh, August 1964. Here's the back. Cruise line. Okay. I'm not going to look too hard because it cracks me up at some of these pictures. There was a map there that went by. Oh, here's another map. All the stories. The pages do have a lot of color. And then I'm sure there's some more coupons or something in the back. Oh, there's a phone. Wouldn't this be great for a glue book? A phone covered with a map. There's another movie camera. All right, and the last one, October 1964. On the back is a Coke ad. So that's October. Okay, that's why they have a pumpkin. That is cool. Oh my goodness, I know someone's going to want this. I know which ones people are going to buy first. The ones with the Coke ads on the back, probably. They're very cool. I must agree. Oh, there's another cool picture. The globe with a, one of these old, and it's blue. It's gorgeous. Phones on it. Sorry, I'm sniffing. Got my allergies going. There must be some kind of dust on these or something. They were, where did I get these? I got these at a, these particular uh, nest. Oh, there's a bird nest. Right here's a bird nest. Some bird, bird watching. Uh, these National Geographics I got at a thrift store, I believe. There was some that were given to me by a family member. I think I sold all those. Those were all, all older. And these I think I got from a thrift store. Yeah, I had gotten to two different groups. The ones from a family member and the ones, and that's it. That's all. But it was like, especially the ones, oh, look at that truck. But especially the ones from the thrift store. Well, there's a bunch from both of them, really. Oh, here's a radio, a uh, camper. Oh, look at that TV. You got to see this. Sylvania has doors. There's the speakers. Very cool, right? <laughs> yes. Love it. Okay. Now, this is not the last, so I must go fast. These, uh, I don't remember how I listed them, but they are listed. <laughs> Those are in my shop. A uh, link will be to my shop under the video here. It'll go to my whole shop, and then you can look around and find the things that you would like. But these are McCall's uh, cookbooks. I sold another group of these. They, I had got these at two different times, so I had them at two different spaces or places in my storage. This is all I have now. I don't have any more of these. But I pulled these out because um, the other one sold right away. So I thought somebody might like these. But this is um, McCall's Home Baked Breads. And these are from 1965. And they're very cool. They The font, the pictures, the size of the pages. Uh, if you want them for recipe books, they're cool for that. And if you want them for your journals, they're gorgeous. They have, um, I believe... They are coming out in, uh, they will come out in signatures. Maybe one signature. I'm trying to see if it's more than one. Anyway, I believe they'll come out like this, two pages. And so you'll have some beautiful, you know, wide pages if you would like those for a journal. So anyway, um, they don't have a date on the outside, but I'm going to see if they're all from, what I say, 19... 65, 1965. So that one was home baked breads, show off cookbook, and look, look how gorgeous. Uh, let's see, 1965, and I'm gonna go quick. 
you can see all the gorgeousness like this. They're all together, no writing. They do have some wear because they've been around. Uh, this one is family style. Look at that. Even the first page is gorgeous. Look at that. Contents page, 1965. Oh my goodness, look at this. <laughs> French toast. Cut in the shape of people. Ice cream cones. I really should keep these, but I'm not going to. Okay. Oh my goodness, that looks delicious. <laughs> Macaw's dessert, dessert Discoveries. Okay, and of course, oh my goodness, I just love these so much. I hope I find some more. I'm going to have to go thrifting. I haven't been thrifting lately. I've been thrifting at Chimu lately, <laughs> so I haven't gone to the thrift store. 1965. Plus, I'm trying to meet my goals for this year. I've got half a year left. As you know, it's June. Oh, wow, this is a gorgeous one. They're all gorgeous. Look at that. That has meringue on the top. Dessert Discoveries. What is the other dessert one? Show Off Cookbook. Family Style Dessert. I guess there wasn't just the Show Off one. Books, Book of Marvelous Meats. <laughs> Can they make meats look good? They even make meats look good. Look at that. So cute. Yeah, they're all from 1965. Okay, and the casseroles. I really took way too long on everything, and I have two journals to show you, too. <laughs> Good thing I didn't try to fit anything else in this video. There you go. That's the McCall's. However I listed them, they are listed. I don't remember if they're individual as a group. So two journals I had in my other my Etsy shop, and now I've transferred them. This is my last two journals that I already have ready, except for our Christmas one. I have to get that one out. But uh, these are just two little journals. They're very inexpensive. So if you just want a little a journal for a gift for a child, an adult, it doesn't matter. They're just super cute. Uh, so I'm going to flip through really quick. Three signatures are in each one. They're kind of a blank journal. So that's why they're so inexpensive. Uh, three signatures sewn in. And so as you can see, they do have pockets and little ephemera and things clipped on. Plenty of places to uh, write your in your own things, glue in your own things. Um, if you, I was thinking if it's, if you gave it to a child, and I mean like a young child, or you know, if you gave it to a young child, they I put the signature or I put the book in the middle, the book pages as the middle signature, so they can come in and read the book. And here's the copyright page and everything, so it's really cool to have the copyright and all the pages and the story here all together. So if you were to give it to a child, they could come and read the book, and that could be a way of getting them interested in journaling because you could say, um, you know, if they have something from school or, you know, their school pictures, it's the end of the year, maybe they have some stuff they brought home. Here you go, a great way to get them interested in journaling and junk journaling and all that. You know, have them glue their stuff in here, tuck it into pockets, and just kind of learn about and experiment with, uh, junk journaling without with it, something really cute. You've got a goodie pack and uh, something really fun and cute and uh, that they would like or anybody would like it, an adult too, but um, to help them learn about junk journaling. I just thought of that when I was relisting these. Uh, I thought that middle signature, what a perfect way to have a child get interested is they can go and read that middle signature and then be like okay what else can I do here you know so here's the other one big bird three signatures again this one has some trim and they all have their original um, you know insides here because it's so cute and things tucked in and, and uh, you know this one has uh, buttons what are these buttons <laughs> Things, you know, different fun things. This is a little fold out here. Uh, secret journaling spot. So, you know, a little bit of decoration already in here, but not much. Here's some more buttons and things. So I'm just going through real quick. But everything's original. No, no printables in here. Original scrapbook paper and papers and things like that. So 
a great little starter journal that's inexpensive. So pop over and get them if you want one before they're gone. And uh, I have one other journal in there, the glue book. Glue book slash junk journal. That has a very generous package of goodies with it if you want that one. Or these two. And pretty soon, maybe in July, I'll get that Christmas one out. You know, Christmas in July. There you go. But I'll have my... Uh, my uh, fall one's done soon, and I'll be coming to you. I can't wait. I'm really having fun with those. Here's a quick little sneak peek. I've got all the signatures sewn in. Yay, I've got pockets, big pockets. I've got belly bands, so I'm still working on them, though. So I'll be back with those, and I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day and a great weekend. See you later.